everything you need to know about the March game update. And it is big. Mm, it's an orange juice. What's up, everyone? It's OJ. We have the game update coming on, and it is massive. It is huge. So it's their fourth birthday for Clash Royale, and they are celebrating with a life-size birthday cake arena. Just, just look at this. It's not gonna lie, it's a little nauseating. But, uh, you got that goblin coming in, the little random boxes, the trees. It's kind of hard to focus on. All right. So you can see in the top left and the top right, there's all these balloons. And then in the bottom left and the bottom right, there are the balloons. You won't see it on mobile, but on a tablet with a 4 to 3 aspect ratio, you will see these little sides. It's just, the entire arena is moving and it's kind of nauseating. I don't, I don't know how I feel about it, but it's in the game. I think, unless they removed it. So it's been four years since Clash Royale globally released on March 2nd, 2016. Holy smokes, have I been on doing YouTube for four years now? Oh man. And they're celebrating it with season nine. It's the birthday season and at 10 wins, you get the birthday skin. And at 20 wins, you get the battle healer emote. Now, this is the dev build, so we don't see anything and everything in this video is subject to change, including the arena and anything else. If Supercell does change it. So you've got the birthday skin and you have the battle healer emote. Look at that. Just slicing into four pieces. So it's one candle, a slice. Nice. They've got a new card in the game. The Royal Delivery. No need to sign for this package. Dropped from the sky. It damages and knocks back enemy troops before delivering a Royal Recruit. A three elixir Royal Recruit that you can put anywhere on your half of the map. The empty box is also handy for espionage. Interesting. Look at that. It deals damage. We gotta see that again. That was enough to take out a princess. Oh my freaking heck. Okay, at, at tournament standard, it does 318 damage. To give you perspective of that, that's more damage than arrows. And it spawns rural recruits. But arrows are a completely different mechanic. They can take out guards now. The rural delivery is like a mini fireball slash arrows thing. And it only spawns on your side. Does it hit air and ground? Let's find out. There's a really weird delay. Oh, it does hit air and ground. So this has the same timing as Rocket, and it spawns a Royal Recruit. The animation's a little weird. Hopefully they change that because it's so hard to learn this timing when you first look at it, but it really is the timing of a Rocket. I, I just want a visual where it's launched and catapulted from the King Tower straight there. Right now the visual is a little interesting, but again, this is the dev build. Anything could change. So this can be placed anywhere on your side of the map. You cannot place it across the map, only on your side. So that's why it deals more damage than arrows because you can't place it offensively. It is a defensive troop that you use to counterattack. I can see this being very good for graveyard decks, for bait decks, anything that really utilizes counterplays. Let's see how it messes up the Musketeer. We're gonna be doing a verse all and we're gonna have a tech video for this too. Oh my gosh, it knocks back everything too. That's great. I like this card already. Minus the drop animation, that kind of messes me up on the timing. So just like every other season, this spell card will... Ha, look at that, there's a nose in there. Yay. So just like that, there will be a card boost for Season 9. And this World Delivery card will be at King level standard, whatever your King level is. If your King's level 12, this will be brought up to level 12. Your King's maxed out, level 13, this will be brought to level 13. It's a common card. There's been a lot of common cards. We all know what that means. Every time there's a common card released into the game, because of the calculations of how legendaries work, legendaries become a little bit more rare to get. So how do you obtain this card early? How do you unlock it before it releases? Three ways. Throughout Season 9, there's going to be challenges to unlock the World Delivery card. Or at 5150, you can unlock him. Or at 6450, you can unlock him or get more of him. It. Spell. Is it a, is the spell an it? He? She? It. Does the spell have a gender? Yay. Yes, it does. It's a role, it's a role recruit. And the role recruit is a male. It's got a three tile radius. That's going to be a little 0.5 more than a snowball and a fireball. 0.5 less than a poison spell, but the same as a freeze spell. So with the season pass, you do get the birthday cake skin at 10 wins. You get the battle healer emote at 20 wins. And before you buy the season pass, you need to use code OJ. It helps support the channel and everything that you buy. We get a small kickback from the channel from there. So if you do use the season pass, if you're watching this video, please enter the code right now because it does expire every seven days. So when the season comes out and I know how many people buy it on the very first day of the season, just have, the se just have it ready. Tony, I'm looking at you. I know you bought the season pass because my code expired and you forgot to renew it. If you just enter in the code by the time you watch this video and you do get the season pass, you won't forget. 
The season pass is so worth it. 70 rewards to unlock. You got 35 pass rel tiers, 35 free tiers. I know players who have been free to play for four years and as soon as season passes came out, they dropped everything and this is just so value. I buy the season passes just for the free re-entry alone. They've got some super cool Supercell creator challenges coming out for this whole season. I don't know exactly what it is because I'm not included Supercell. A little sad that I'm not included, but uh, it's no big deal. I can still explain what I know. We do know what the titles are. It's called CWA's Elite Barbarian Rush. I'm, I can, I'm gonna assume you both have Elite Barbarians in Rage and you just rush each other. Then you have with Zack, Sparky, Shocker. There's probably a lot of Sparkies, maybe some Electro Wizards, Electro Dragons. I don't know from the sound of that, but there, we do know that there is Sparky. And then you have Legendary's Infinite Elixir. I have no idea what Infinite Elixir is, but that sounds too broken to be at Infinite Elixir. Maybe it's Triple Elixir. Maybe it's Quadruple Elixir. But there's no freaking way that it's going to be Infinite Elixir. Just to spam everything, that would be absolute madness. Do Rocket Lightning Mirror, Locket, Rocket Lightning Mirror on the King Tower. And then you have the fourth challenge called Sir Tag's Cycle Mayhem. I'm just going to imagine that he created a couple decks that were 2.1, 2.2, 2.3 Elixir decks that you just cycle like madness. So those challenges all sound super fun. What I really like about this is that Tag is a thinker and he likes to thunk about things. So I, I think he thunk about these decks. I don't even know what these look like. I'm just basing it all off on the title that we already know. There's going to be some more emotes that we can get to. The Rural Giant. Look at that. He explodes a four. You're going to be able to get this from a challenge. I don't know which challenge. I just know a challenge. And then in the shop, you're going to be able to buy this fish emote. Kind of weird sound. And this present. Surprise! It's a Sparky! And then you have this ultra, mega, limited P.E.K.K.A. emote. It pokes it with the sword. That's a lot of damage on the balloons. I won't go into detail about th this emote yet, but it's going to be the same as last year where you will only be able to earn this emote from Supercell creators. Just like last year, there were tournaments going on. There's going to be some stuff like that too. So stay tuned for the video. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to my Instagram, OJ Everyday. Subscribe to my Twitter, Orange Juice, to find out more details as we find out what it is. Season trophy reset for this month and this month only. I'm guessing because it's the birthday month of Clash Royale for it celebrating its fourth year in March that the trophies are only going to be reset by 25% instead of the usual 50%. So if you're at 4,500, you're going to, instead of reset from 4,250, you're going to reset to 4,000. To 4,375. So throughout season nine, you're gonna be able to vote for what your favorite party modes you want to play. Starting on March 6th, you can vote throughout News Royale. So you can vote for what you want inside the party mode. That's gonna be very cool. And in other changes in war, this is not quite confirmed yet, but I believe they are saying that they are removing 2v2 from Clan Wars and they're gonna be adding 1v1 only. So for season nine, you're gonna have 1v1s with wall breakers, classic decks, triple decks, sudden death, and double elixir draft. No more 2v2s. I'm assuming because not enough people play it, so the matchmaking just doesn't make sense to have that in war. Last but not least, we have the balance changes. There's gonna be five cards that will have these balance changes live on March 3rd. You're gonna have the Minor Earthquake, Cannon, Golem, and the Cannon card are gonna be tweaked just a little bit. The balance changes aren't quite in the dev build yet, so we can't really show the interactions, but what I can do is explain them. So for the Miner, he got nerfed. As if you guys have been following me on Twitter or have been watching my community post, it has been confirmed that he has been tweaked a little bit and he is getting a slight reduction. His crown tower damage is being reduced from 40% to 35%. What that means is that his typical damage at tournament standard at 160 damage will now only deal 56 damage to the crown towers. So the princess towers and the king towers will only get 56 damage instead of 64. It's not groundbreaking, but it is slightly significant especially for minor poison chip cycles that's gonna be a bit of a hit on them earthquake now affects underground tesla it makes sense so much from a game perspective but actually i read online that underground structures move with the soil and they don't get damaged so really the first version of earthquake not damaging tesla makes sense because the tesla is safe with the soil and it moves with the soil but hey it affects Tesla now, and it makes sense at first glance if you don't think too hard about it. Golems are getting changed too. The Golemite's death damage is being reduced by 22.5%. That's a lot of nerf. So the Golemite's punch damage is being reduced by 22.5%. So each punch is going to deal a little bit less, a lot less, a fifth less. But 
the Golemite's death damage is increasing by 55%. So when they explode and they pop, that's a lot more. It's a little bit more scary getting the Golemites connecting in the tower. I wonder why that changed, but in the long run, it kind of balances out. Cannons are getting some love. Hog 2.6 is relevant yet again. Oh, I hate 2.6 on ladder. Those 2.6 players that I've been playing for four years, they just rock me so hard. They're so good. I hate it. So the cannon is getting a 5% damage increase. And then you have the cannon cart to remain consistent with that. It is also getting a 5% damage increase on the cannon cart in all forms, apparently. It, it just says plus 5%, so I'm going to assume it's all both forms just to keep it consistent. And then you have the royal delivery. This is going to be a super cool card. Let's get into some battles to showcase how cool it is. Last but not least, we have the Royal Delivery. 318 damage. That's going to be really good. We're going to be using it in two different decks right now. I'm going to be using it in the deck that y'all have seen me use it in. And the P.E.K.K.A. Bridge Spam deck that I'm actually decent with now. Yeah, I know. I'm top 8,000 in the world with this deck. I, I'm... Mm, you need, no, stop, please. I'm amazing. I know. So instead of Zap, I have the Royal Delivery. It's going to mess up the d dynamic of this map because you do need the Zap for so many interactions. The Zap stops Inferno Towers. It stops Bats from destroying your P.E.K.K.A. And the Royal Delivery can only be cast on your side. I do not think it fits in this deck. And then let's see if it replaces the Log in 2.6, making this effectively... 2.8. I don't think it will because the log can actually reach the other side of the arena. It takes care of the princess and this doesn't really, but we'll see how it goes. Ah, I like my opponent's name. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm going to rush a hog rider. Oh no. I wish I had my log right now. It does have a slight delay. So that's going to be a little scary. I can counter it with the log with the world delivery. We'll see how it goes. Oh my freaking heck. Dirty bait user, you use code OJ person, if that is your real name. Hog Rider in the back. Oh, I'm not playing this deck right. I can't use the roll deliver. Oh my good. I can't believe I have to use Fireball on that thing. Woo, he missed! I could use roll delivery, but I'm saving it for the. Ah, uh, can you can go? That takes so long to cast. It does not replace anything. It does not replace the log at all. It's a completely different spell. I don't like this. Oh, the roll recruit. It had the shield. Calling it now. If I lose to use code OJ, then I will use code OJ. But if I win, he has to use code o I don't know where I'm going with this. I really wish I had the log right now. He's got the log and the roll delivery. Oh my freaking heck. Barrel me. Barrel me, bro. Come on. Drop. Drop. <laughs> Was that musketeer going to reach? If it reaches, that's going to be so money. Go for the Inferno Tower. Prediction. Is it really a prediction? It takes so long to drop. Okay. We may have lost this one, but I'm ready to react. I'm ready. I, th I thought that was the barrel. I it dropped on the other side. Oh, shoot. That was embarrassing. I'm ready for your barrels. 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 That was me reacting to it. Oh my gosh, it actually stopped it. So you have to be on high alert for that. Holy heck. I'm ready for your barrels. I'm ready for your barrels. I'm ready for your barrels. I know he's got rocket. Halfway through the game, I realized there's no way I was getting through, and I just wanted to counter it. Yeah, I'm ready for his barrels. We're just doing some barrel testing. It countered it. 
Okay. I want to cycle back to barrel. Okay. I'm ready for your barrels. I'm ready for your barrels. Which side are you going to go? Dr drop! That's way too tight. That is way too tight. Okay, I'm going to react a little bit slower now. And see, this that's just it just connects so heckin' much. Delay it a little bit. It drops in. Yep. They all get three stabs if you, if you hesitate a little bit. You have to be on the ready. You have to be ready for the barrel. It does counter barrels. Look out for more tech videos for that because we will be having verse all. We're gonna have being tech videos coming up for that. So make sure to subscribe to the channel, but we have to try out one more deck. This arena takes some getting used to. I'm gonna do a magic archer in the back. He's got an ice wizard. All right. I don't even know what to drop this on. I'm just gonna drop him the ice wizard just because I want to see the interactions. Takes it out, so we got that for us. Is this the wall breaker deck? No, it can't be. Well, recruit almost got one hit on the tower. Wow. He missed! Oh, it's a grave graveyard. Graveyard with world recruits. I can kind of see that working. I, I can see the logic and why he's using this because the world recruit counterattacks and it tanks for the graveyard. Unfortunately for him, I have poison. Alright, I'm going to do a Magic Archer. And I like how this actually hits the Baby Dragon! Okay, it usually hits the Baby Dragon. But it takes so long. We'll let it connect. We'll, get, we'll let it get two shots on. Both sides. Why the heck not? Negative elixir trade? Yes, please. Okay, it knocks back the, the bandit. He can react to that. That's a very good one. Roll recruit does not connect. It almost always does, but it doesn't. One roll recruit is not enough. I really want to just put this on the baby dragon. It's kind of... Come on, get closer. Yeah, right there, right there, right there, right there. Knock the baby dragon out. It did a thing. I like it. I'm ready to poison your graveyard, use code OJ. He's gonna have the Inferno Tower, so we're gonna go for the Lecture Wizard in the back there. Or, not Inferno Tower, I meant the Bomb Tower, but you always get my point. Alright, Bandit. Connect, Bandit. Beautus. Uh-oh, I need to cycle to my poison now. Geometry, that... Ice Wizard, yes! That was beautiful geometry. Holy heck. I'm not overreacting. You're overreacting. Let's go for a battle ram on the other side and just pressure everything. I'm ready to geometry this magic archer right now. Holy. That roll recruit. Deserves a P.E.K.K.A. counter. It just really overall confuses me. This is absurd. I can't find many situations that I can justify using this spell. It counters Magic Archer for sure, but in this exact deck, I can't really see it. I, possibly in other decks, but this one just is wacky. I should not have replaced the log with it. It is not a log replacement. We can probably almost even use this in a triple spell deck. Like, I'm, I'm seeing, like, with part, like, you could see log, zap, fireball decks. You can pair any of those, a big spell, a small spell, and a barbarian barrel. This is the exact same thing, exact same concept, where you pair it with a royal recruit. And it is absolutely not a counter. I, I think you don't really need to consider this as a spell. It's exactly like Barbarian Barrel. It has really weird uses. 
Ah, looks like I lost the bet and I have to use Code OJ. All right, that's gonna be it for this video. I'm super happy for the update. There's gonna be a lot of emotes going on. There's gonna be a lot of giveaways. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more quality OJ.